today's news. And you look at you live, but too tired to attend here. Islamic Party heads appeal rejected. Former parliamentary candidates given conditional release. Council of State support for NGOs reports back. Karabakh as a shared problem of the Turkic world. The Baku Appeals Court heard Enola Fatulayev's appeal against the ruling on his lawsuit against the Baku City General Prosecutor's Office today. From prison, Fatulayev submitted a statement of his refusal to attend, but said that he plans to participate in future proceedings. Fatulayev's lawyer, Elchin Sadagov, said that yesterday's hearing had gone beyond working hours, and after the strain of such a long day, Enola had been exhausted. On these grounds, the lawyer requested to postpone the process. Judge Kargani Mamadov took Sadagov's request into consideration and fixed the next hearing for February 1st. During yesterday's proceedings at the Baku Appeals Court, the judge rejected Fatulayev's appeal against the Garadag District Court's judgment. The proceedings were marred by serious legal violations, one of which was the duration of the court session. In 2007, Enola Fatulayev, editor-in-chief of Realny Azerbaijan and Gundelik Azerbaijan newspapers, was sentenced to eight and a half years in jail for threatening terrorism, along with other charges. In July of this year, he was sentenced to an additional two and a half years in prison by Garadag District Court under charges of drug possession. The journalist's appeal against the decision was rejected. The European Court of Human Rights has issued a final and absolute ruling for his innocence and has demanded his immediate release. The Azerbaijani Supreme Court plenum has only partially fulfilled this decision. Today, the Baku Appeals Court rejected the appeal by the head of the Azerbaijani Islamic Party, Movsun Samadov, against the Nasimi District Court's January 20th ruling. Court security told IRFS that the hearing was closed and that no press could attend. Mohun Tamadov, his driver Mir Hussein Kazimov, party department head Vagif Abduliev, and party activist Elchin Hasanov were arrested on January 7th. A second group of Islamists was arrested later the same day. The Azerbaijan Islamic Party chairman criticized the hijab ban during the party assembly on January 2nd, describing it as a moral blow to Azerbaijani society. A video of the meeting was posted on social networking sites, and as a result, the party chairman and his supporters are under serious risk of arrest. Former parliamentary candidate, young activist Bakhtiar Hadjiev, has been released from custody, but has been banned from leaving the city of Ganja, reported his representative, Rael Abusov. Hadjiev was summoned to the prosecutor's office to testify this morning, after which he was set free on the condition that he stays in Ganja. When Hadjiev said that he had to go to Baku, he was told to write an appeal to the Ganja city prosecutor and that he could only go if this was approved, said Abbasov. Harvard graduate Bakhtiar Hadjiev was arrested for evading military service when he tried to cross the Georgian border. He was arrested and detained back in November on the same grounds. The President's Council for State Support to NGOs held a press conference on recent activity today. The Council Chairman, Aze Guliev, said that the Council had created an information database of about 1,400 NGOs operating in Azerbaijan. A monthly talk show and discussion program on NGO activities will be broadcast by Public TV. There is also a magazine, Civil Society, which publishes information on NGO activities and projects. The Council organizes training and seminars for NGOs. It also gives grants. 352 projects won grants in 2010, with a total of 2 million AZN allocated to their implementation. 54 of these projects were devoted to human rights, 43 to the Karabakh problem, 59 to the support of regional NGOs, and 98 to social and economic issues. 1,100 people were directly involved in the running of these projects. There are still problems in this sector, the most serious of which is the standard of project reporting by NGOs. Reports do not meet the stipulated requirements and standards, said Guliev. 
He warned that NGOs who did not submit their reports would be banned from participating in further council activities. The council executive director, Farisad Gobanov, added in his speech that the clerical and accounting work done by NGOs is in a poor state. The Shared Values Public Union held a meeting on the conclusions of discussions on Karabakh as a shared problem of the Turkic world, with financial support from the Council for State Support to NGOs. Shared Values Public Union head, Amgil Jamal, gave information about the project. According to him, a number of articles and interviews have been placed in the Azerbaijani press, as well as the media of Turkic countries. Further, a website has been created to increase the effectiveness of the project. Other participants of the meeting, including Constitutional Foundation Head Ali Mahmad Nuriyev, Borj Ali Community Head Zalmil Khan Mahmad Le, Ombudsman Office Spokesman Zemrifa Maharam Le, and others shared their opinions on the topic.